Hello everyone, I am Satya and welcome back to my channel where I bring to you different videos on technical aspects of astrophotography. In this video, you will see how to breathe new life into old mounts. Now this is my 9.5 year old uh, HEQ5 Pro from uh, Skywatcher. About 2 months ago it just gave up on me and died right in the middle of a session. It uh, would not even connect to the laptop uh, despite whatever I tried. I then found out that its motherboard had fried and died. Yeah, fried and dried. Yeah. So after 2 months of extensive research I came across the OnStep controller. Now, the OnStep controller is an open source LX200 protocol based controller that can make any mount which has worm gears on both axes into a go-to mount. And it's an amazing project, you know, you get to do the DIY and you know, fit the motors and update the firmware into the controller. The controller itself is based on the Arduino boards. Different varieties or variations of the Arduino boards that are available there are at least about half a dozen as I remember from the wiki page of the OnStep uh, controllers. Now this particular one is based on the Vmos D1 R32 ESP32 chip based uh, development board. On top of it sits a CNC V3 shield. Now this is what the Vmos D1 uh, R32 looks like. Yeah, it's very tiny about that big and the CNC V3 shield, this is what it looks like. The CNC V3 carries the driver boards for the motors and the VMOS V1 carries the firmware, both are mated to each other using the header pins. Now, this is a 3D printed case in which both of them sit. I have powered it using 12 volts uh, 5 amp power supply that's powering only the CNC V3 shield and not the VMOS controller. The VMOS is powered by the USB which goes all the way to the Raspberry Pi. This is not an ASI Air Pro or ASI Air. It's a Raspberry Pi with the Astroberry uh, firmware installed in it. Astroberry is a freeware available for any amateur astronomer, astrophotographer, whatever may be. And you can use it to not just plan your observing sessions but also do astrophotography. It can do everything. It has K-Stars planetarium software as well as ECOS Astrophotography Suite. Now, we shall have a look at what uh, K-Stars looks like as well as how I connect the mount to the uh, Astroberry. Alright, here I have opened up Astroberry. This is the background. And here are some icons out of which I will choose this. This is for K-Stars. K-Stars opens up with tips. I don't read the tips, so I just close it off. And this is the toggle for ECOS. In ECOS, you need to create profiles for whatever equipment you have, and I've created on step test. I select that and click play. It connects instantly to the mount. I'll minimize that. And then since I have no QHY cameras connected, I'll just click on OK and just dismiss that off. I'll push this to one side and then you can see that the LX200 on step is now pointing towards the North Celestial Pole. At this time, I'll just scroll through until I find something suitable. Procyon. During the day, this is what it should look like. I click, right click on it, go to LX200 on step and click go to. Instantly, you can see that the mount has started accelerating and moving. Let us just enjoy the view of the 
refurbished HEP5 Pro moving towards ProSignal. Meanwhile, on the screen, you will be able to see that the LX200 on step is now passing by Castor and Pollux and coming towards Procyon. I have checked using a mobile phone app that the pointing accuracy is pretty good. Okay, the mount has uh, decelerated and stopped at Procyon as you can see on the screen too. Now, as far as indoor tests are concerned, I think it's an absolute success. Um, if the mount was pointing north, then Procyon had to be up there in the east and uh, that's exactly where the screenshot says it is. So, only a field test will actually uh, confirm the results but uh, until then I think it's 10 out of 10 for the on-step controller. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Please, please do like and subscribe. I will bring more such technical videos on astrophotography on my channel.